chunk sloth how you guys <laughs> Oh, got another sneak peek for you guys. Here's a first look of the Segeli 100 watt box mod. Now I just received this sucker, been vaping her no more than 24 hours. But the first time that I pulled this out of the package, first thought that came to my mind, clean. Clean, 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 clean. But that's Segeli for you. I mean, those are my experiences with Segeli. Everything that I've owned in the past that I've used, the 20 watt device, the 30 watt device, Segeli, the Z-Max, all of Segeli's products are clean. They're well manufactured, well polished, no scratches, no burrs. I mean, the box feels solid compared to the IPv2 box mod that I've reviewed. Okay, this thing, this box, the box blows it out of the water. This does not feel cheap in any way. No rattling going on. Okay, the buttons, they don't rattle. They feel nice. I love the fire button. I love this round fire button. It's super comfortable. The power up, the power down buttons are nice and clicky. Easy to navigate, easy to use. Love the screen. I'm going to show you guys a little sneak peek close up so you'll see all this. But the screen is super clear. It's not too bright. It's not too dim. It's just right. Okay, the back panel is held on by two screws, but it's magnetic. So you really don't need the screws. So Segeli, if I were you guys, I would just toss the screws. Love the back panel. Like I said, it's magnetic. It's easy. It's got a little clip down here where you can pull it up to pull the back panel off. It's got the vent holes at the base. You've got an adjustable copper pin at the 510 connection to make connection with all your RDAs, your RDTAs, your tanks, etc. One thing I do notice with this box mod is it has no USB port, so you can't plug it in and charge it. Whenever these batteries die, you got to take the back panel off, pull the batteries out, recharge them, and install them, which could be a pain in the ass for some of you vapors out there. But here's the good news. This thing holds two 18650 batteries. Right now I've got two VTC5 batteries in here. And I tell you what, been vaping between anywhere between 35 and 55 watts. And I've gone four hours, four hours vaping between 35 and 55 watts. And I still have 90% battery life left. 90%! And that's after four hours of vaping like this. The chip that is in this mod is the Yihi SX330 version 3. Segeli states they market that this thing vapes between 10 watts and 100 watts. And that you can vape all the way down to 0.15 ohms, all the way up to 3 ohms. We'll just see about that. Like I said, gotta put this bad boy through its paces, gonna vape on it for a week or two at the most, then come back and tell you how this chip performs if it does do all the stuff that they state that it does oh you know i will right now i've got this onslaught rda sitting on the segeli 100 wide got her vaping at 43 watts with a 0.6 ohm bill So yeah, with this build, this 0.6 ohm build in this Onslaught RDA, I've been sticking between 35 and 43 watts, 45 watts. Maybe sometimes I'll take her up a little bit higher. But so far in the last 24 hours, I really haven't taken her up above 55, 60 watts. Still got some time to play with this sucker. I still need some time to play with this sucker, I mean. Give me a week. Give me a week. Let me put some different builds on there. Let me test them. Let me test the different resistances from 0.15 that it states it vapes down to all the way up to 3 ohms. Let me test those. And then I'm going to take her up. I'm going to push the envelope with this sucker and come back and let you know. Little sneak peek. First look at the Segeli 100 watt. Okay, as you guys can see, I've got these two screws out. Took them out of the back panel. Just wanted to show you what's behind this back panel. So here's a little lever or a little, a little clip area. Pop that open and boom. Look how clean that is. Like I said, that's the galley for you. Everything they do is clean. And you got the magnets at the top and the bottom of the back panel and the device. Boom, just like that. So Gelly, you don't even need those screws. Get rid of the screws, make it solid, it'll be easy. And then all you gotta do in order to get in the back panel is just boom, just like that. Here's the menu screen. You've got the wattage, the battery life percentage, the voltage, and the resistance. You got your wattage up, wattage down button, and here's your fire button. 510 connection, you've got that copper adjustable pin, vent holes at the base for battery venting. So yeah, that is the Segeli 100 watt first look. Oh, and I did put those screws back in. And the reason why I installed the screws back in there is because I don't want juice leaking down into that top hole, getting into the circuitry, etc. But Segeli, if you're watching this, I love the magnetic back panel. Take those screws out, get rid of the screws all together, fill that sucker up, make it to where it's 
flush just with the magnets on there and you'll be good to go. So that's my sneak peek on this Segeli 100 watt box mod. Got to put her through its paces, see how she performs over a longer period of time and I will get back to you. This is Rip Trippers and remember, smoking is dead, vaping is the future and the future is now.